with Harry and Meghan, you know, there's often the term heads will roll, particularly within their organization. And particularly, and I've seen this with a lot of celebrities, when they cannot really fathom that it's actually their fault. By that, what I mean is if you work with celebrities, and it doesn't go to plan. It's never their fault. It's always your fault why they didn't sell enough, why the venue's not sold out, why there's not enough people queuing up for the book signing. You know what I mean? Always somebody else's fault. Now Harry and Meghan are looking towards, well, a problem because on their recent visit to New York City to speak about mental health and social media, literally, there was a huge problem. As ever, let me explain. Good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to have your company in as ever. As we gear towards November, yes, over here we, as you know, celebrate Guy Fawkes Bonfire Night. But guess what? Uh, the Killjoys over here in the United Kingdom, the councils, have decided that no, they can't afford it because fireworks have become too expensive. Yeah, can you imagine? I mean, you just kind of think, look, it's a cheery event that brightens up a cold winter's night. But more importantly, let's not forget, these are the said councils that have gone bankrupt by painting rainbow colored zebra crossings across roads, brand new woke toilets, and all sorts of ridiculous ideology. But when it comes to tradition, something that people enjoy can't afford that. Wouldn't you just fire them all if you had the opportunity? What is your local council like? I bet that'll light up the board. Are they all as bad as ours? <laughs> Truly, I can't get over how thick some of the councillors are that we have over here. I wouldn't pay for them, honestly. Back as ever, though, to your breaking roll story of the day. It is a, a fascinating insight, this, because, you know, when you think about it, Harry and Meghan, particularly Meghan, famously said, did she not, that she couldn't believe that she wasn't charging for all these people that came out to meet her a few years back on a tour of South Africa. How times change when they pop back to New York City a few months after that catastrophic car chase that their person on earth decided to tell the world, including the BBC, what a clothead he looked. He literally went along with that ridiculous idea that was laughed literally out of the door and yet we're supposed to believe his forthcoming latest book is all fact. Really, get a grip. But now on a serious note, there is a problem because Harry and Meghan's team have been called in to find out exactly where was the lack of public support. Barriers were placed up, police escort, seven seven by seven cars, nobody. I mean, literally nobody. You know, I could honestly say at least I've got a fan in Coco the dog in Canada. You know what I'm saying? This was a problem. As I told you recently, what was fascinating about this story is the fact that certain drama schools, you know, performing arts schools in and around the vicinity were basically said, going to be lots of cameras there. You know, if you want to get yourself pitched on the news, etc. Fans for free is what it's called, you know, audience clubs, that sort of thing. It's how they fill seats in theatres and big public events, particularly young people who are very keen to be digitally seen. But apparently even they now are not that bothered about the former royals known as Harry and Meghan. And more importantly, once again, in recent polls, their popularity has plummeted to an all-time low. As I said at the start of this video, once again, the revolving door of Archwell will be swinging around because someone has to take the blame. It can never truly be Harry or indeed Meghan. They're popular. After all, you can see that by all the pictures and all the digital stories that pop up over the websites. But in reality, if you were to say, OK, here's an event, and it was a very small event with, of course, a very serious topic, where was the public support? Somebody somehow within that organization is going to have to come up with a very serious answer to Harry and Meghan, because quite frankly, they're fuming. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.